Oh, what a Christmas Eve here at THV 11. Merry Christmas. And you're just in time for one of our traditions here at this station. Every Christmas Eve, without fail, we read, "'Twas the night before Christmas." Slightly altered. Get the family together now and enjoy. And if this doesn't get in, you into the Christmas spirit, it's understandable. Okay. <clears throat> "'Twas the night before Christmas, when I usually hit the hay, but this time was different. I was driving the sleigh. Oh, where is Santa? Where could he be? Why would he put all this pressure on me? With no sign of the big man, I plotted a course. My new ride was led by an oak horn racehorse. I took to the sky, up toward the heavens, and my first stop, good old THV 11. I parked the sleigh and gave my crew a nice snack when I heard someone coming. It was my boss, Marty Shack. He asked, Craig, what are you doing? What are you wearing? Then I looked down and found out why he was staring. I was dressed like Santa, my outfit complete. Well, except for Air Jordans I had on both feet. So there I was dressed for the part. I knew right off where my delivery should start. I walked into the station, a big bag in tow. The lights and the TVs were all still aglow. Then I pulled out a list, and what first did I see? For my co-anchor Faith, a date with Travis Kelsey. Then I moved on to Rowley. What did he earn? A one-on-one -on -one interview with the governor's lectern. On to Hayden Balgaby, who didn't need toys. How about a Super Bowl win for the Dallas Cowboys? On to the weather team, to the green screen I go, to leave Tom and the others a couple of feet of snow. I was getting the hang of things. I was unstoppable. I looked like Tom Cruise in the new Mission Impossible. Leaving gifts for the crew who make it all happen, making them happy has always been my real passion. I wrapped up my deliveries and took a quick pause because watching it all, Santa Claus. There you are, Craig. You're cutting it close, he said. I was starting to feel like Mr. Dan Enos. My smile faded there at the station. He caught me doing a Santa impersonation. I handed him the keys to the sleigh. I said, Santa, it is so tough to walk away. He gave me a smile, you know the one, and told me it's because my job here is done. Working hard to make the nice list for the last 50 years, bringing joy to our Kansans and calming their fears. Santa said, it's time to move on and enjoy the fruit of your labors. Hang out, read books, make friends with your neighbors. He said one last thing as he walked to his sleigh. Craig, don't forget, you're still working till Friday. I could barely see him. He took off so fast, calling on his reindeer, now named for my past. He said, now Buckner, now Larry, now Andy and Ann, on Massey, on Joey, on Donner and Sam's. He and his team now headed to four and seven. He yelled out one last message for the team at 11. Merry Christmas to all, I could still hear him say. And Craig, enjoy that 401k. Back in the studio, I had one last thing to do. I got behind the desk and started thinking of you. I looked in the camera, ready to go, saying one last time, Thanks for watching our show. Merry Christmas.